the next uh, grassroots solution for consciousness change is the power of positive thinking. It's one I often struggle with, as do many people who uh, do research in this field. We have to keep a sense of humor. It's often difficult to do so, uh, knowing the weight and the gravity of the situation and how, how deeply along we are in this, but it's extremely important to, uh, to, to be able to look at it lightheartedly. It is also extremely important to see the glass as half full. Try to recognize that we are making small steps and small progresses in the right direction. Try to see the glass as half full as opposed to being half empty and, and, and focus on the positive rather than the negative. Difficult. I, I struggle with this one myself. Understand that change is possible. Keep that focus in mind. Keep the eye on the prize, so to speak. Change is possible. And we need to not look at the asleep as uh, the enemy. We need to look at the asleep as ones to be helped and healed. They're in a state of worldview illness, worldview poisoning. So we wouldn't go into a hospital and start spewing hatred out against a cancer patient. They're ill. They have a, a disease. They have an illness. They're sick. Just like people who are really shut down in consciousness, they really have an illness. They are at disease. They have worldview poisoning. And what they need is healing, not hatred or resentment. And it, again, it's one many of us struggle with who are at a higher level of awareness and we want to beat somebody up because they don't understand what we currently understand. It's our uh, role to help them to come up in understanding and oftentimes you'll encounter people that are completely resistant to it and they, they're attached to their state of consciousness and attached to their egoic, uh, you know, self-centered worldview and they want to stay in that state of disconnection. And it can be difficult and we, we need to, you know, work with them to the extent that we can and if they are determined to stay in that modality of consciousness perhaps it is better to allow them to do so and experience the the uh, the, the, the negative uh, outcome that will inevitably result from refusal to change and to ascend in consciousness they will find out eventually we all will in one form or another uh, what our um, our level of consciousness is really going to create for us no one really escapes the lesson. They can only delay it. So uh, we need to help them to the extent that it is within our capability and then outside of the capability that you can affect, you need to know where the limitation lies and, and let certain individuals be where they are. That's a hard lesson to learn, extremely hard.